Hey guys, so as promised, here is the chit chat, get ready with me, and this is the final look. I never really do this, I never start with the final look and then get into it, but that's what we're gonna do today. I did a haul recently and included a bunch of stuff from Glambot, but I thought I would test some of those things out here today with you. If you don't know what Glambot is, I talk about them all the time in my videos because I love, love, love their website, but it's a website that sells gently used and new makeup for cheaper, and everything is sanitized and good to go, don't worry. You can also sell your makeup to them and make money. They always, always, always have super good deals going on and coupons and everything so even if you see something and you still think it's too much money look for a coupon because usually they have some kind of sale anyway if you haven't seen that haul where I hauled the things some of the things I'm gonna talk about I don't use every product that I hauled in that video but if you haven't seen that haul link down below and without further ado let's get into the look get ready for my naked face Let's go. First things first though, I just wanna thank you guys so, so much for 300,000 subscribers. When you're watching this, it's already been a week or so, but it actually happened overnight last night and I woke up and someone said, you hit 300,000 and I went and looked and yes I did and I'm so, so grateful to all of you. I know a lot of you are new from my Style Evolution video that got on the recommended page, so a lot of you subscribe because of that video, so I hope you're enjoying the rest of my videos and welcome and thank you guys so, so much for subscribing. If you haven't already, I'm not that kind of YouTuber, I'm sorry. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna start out with is my, well, uh, yep, I forgot what it is, hold on. The first thing I'm gonna start with is my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I use this in all my Get Ready With Me, so I'm sorry that's not new. I minimized my makeup collection, as you guys know, like I decluttered and everything, and so I have more minimal makeup, and I am gonna do an updated makeup collection. I'm still trying to work out like where the rest of this stuff's gonna go, because my desk is still a little bit cluttered with makeup. I think I need to just get rid of some more makeup to be honest but this is my favorite primer it's just so hydrating and my skin is so dry so it just feels amazing on my skin I did a first impressions on the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and I hated it in that video and I still kind of am not the biggest fan of this foundation however with the Beauty Blender it does go on a little bit better so I am gonna use this today with the Beauty Blender just so you guys can see how it works because I think in that video I only showed you with a brush and so I thought it would be fair to you to kind of round out finalize get some closure on this foundation and you know final thoughts you know hair all over my beauty blender I really need to order some contacts because I can't really see I'm usually like really close to my mirror but because I'm filming I can't be so maybe I should try and figure out like a way to zoom it in a little bit and then I can get closer <laughs> it's sheer coverage when you apply it with the beauty blender but I do like it better than a brush for sure I think it's not meant to apply with a brush unless you like it with a brush then for making that up, but yeah. My skin has been so bad lately. I've been under a lot of stress and just like a lot of stuff going on in my life. And so I just been breaking out so bad. Another thing that's weird to get used to is having to put foundation on my forehead because I never do that. I don't like doing it. Okay, I'm gonna kind of let that just chill on my skin before I do concealer and all of that. And I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Auburn, which this color is perfect for my hair. I've been using it and loving it. I know I said I was gonna wait to use it for the first time in this video but I lied I'm sorry Then I'm gonna set with the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Brunette, which is actually kind of reddish tone. So if you do have brown hair and there's no red in it at all, don't get the brunette shade because it is very, very red. Now I'm going to go back to the skin and do some concealing because I need it. Although I did build up some extra coverage just on my acne scarring and stuff, so it doesn't look too, too bad now. But I definitely still need some concealer. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin. I've been trying to use this up. Like, I would repurchase this too, by the way. I feel like it smells and works just like MAC Pro Longwear, which is weird. Like, they literally smell the same. So I feel like this is the same formula as MAC Pro Longwear. I don't know if that's a weird statement to say. I don't know if anyone else has noticed the smell either. I'm not complaining because MAC is not cruelty-free. And I love that concealer, so... That was probably way too much concealer. I'm gonna be looking extra awake today. I have an ortho appointment today, so I'm gonna be, that's all I'm doing today too. So I'm gonna go in there and be like super glammed out for my 
orthodontic appointment, you know. It's... My orthodontist is actually a really big fan, so I think that's really cute and funny, and a lot of the people in the office will be like, I saw that you're doing, like, no makeup Mondays, that's so cool. <laughs> you always ask me, how's it going, and like, how's my channel going and stuff, I think it's so funny. See how full coverage this concealer is? Like, I feel like it is MAC Pro Longwear, it's really weird. Dupe alert, sorry, I'm really obnoxious. You guys, I'm finally getting my hair done tomorrow. Like, these roots need to go. Like, they're so bad. I've never let it go this long. It's been like three months or something. I just have not been able to afford to get my hair done. I'm gonna do like minimal powdering, I think. There's a question I didn't answer in my Q&A, my yes no Q&A, and that's do I still have hyperhidrosis? And I have to say that this year has been the worst for my hyperhidrosis, which is just excessive sweating that it can be in more places than just your armpits. That's where it's the worst for me, but it's definitely spread. And I did an embarrassing hyperhidrosis update video a long time ago. I'll link it down below. Summertime is the worst. Honestly, though, I just endure it. I just get through it because it'll pass and, you know. I'm going to finish up the powder products before I desperately need to spritz my face because it is looking dry. I'm going to use something that I got from Glambot, the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I've been using this a ton since I got it. Like, it is so amazing. I use the light contour most and I just use it on, like, a big fat brush. I don't do the precise contouring like a lot of people do. I just do this. Done. Just kidding. I also use it as my blush, you know, because I'm lazy. I'm actually going to layer a little bit for highlight. I'm going to use one of the milk products. This wasn't in the haul, but this is a milk product that I haven't really used that much. And this is the highlighter in Lit. I'm just going to use it on this highlight brush, this Real Techniques brush, which I love. This actually works really well on top of everything else and on top of that powder. I think I'm just going to layer the shimmer highlight from the Lorac palette because I do really like this highlight actually. It's very, very light, so again, for really fair skin tones. Look at how pretty. That's a good combo. I like that. What I like about the shimmer highlight in this, it's a very neutral shade, so it's not too cool toned or too warm toned. Like, it's not super golden. It's just like a pearl highlight, and so it would work on so many different skin tones. Now that we're done with the face, we're going to spritz it a little using my Photo Focus setting spray from Wet n Wild. I love this setting spray, by the way. It's like $4. So good. I kind of want to do a really simple eye, nothing too extravagant, but I do want to use this eyeshadow from NARS, the Dion shade. Just is so pretty, so I definitely want to use this some way, probably just with the neutral brown in the crease. Let's just do that with some mascara, sounds good. One of my favorite palettes of all time and that I've been reaching for a lot more is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Just taking white chocolate, which is the neutral shade, all over to just set that eye primer. Alright, so I think we're gonna go in with the shade Semi Sweet right here. It's just a neutral kind of brown. I've been applying my eyeshadow so sloppily lately, just literally chucking it on. Just This palette literally has zero fallout. Like, I didn't even tap that off. I just went boop boop and no fallout at all. Next, I'm going to take Triple Fudge, which is the darkest shade in the palette, and use the pencil side of this brush, which is a random Sigma brush. I'm going to use that to just darken up this outer portion here. And I'm also going to take the same brush, but go back to the semi-sweet color that we used in the crease and put that under the eye. We'll kind of mix the darker shade because it's already on the brush, but lazy, I don't care. Alright, now it's time for the NARS color. I'm just going to go in with my finger and, ooh, it's so pretty, and pat it on the lid. Kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay, like, moon dust. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Sorry if I'm looking at the viewfinder so much. I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus, but I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really see the viewfinder that well.
I feel like if you applied this wet, it would be so magical. Next, I'm going to apply my mascara Milani Runway Lashes on No, it's getting repetitive. Please let me know your favorite cruelty-free mascaras down below because I'm definitely in the market for some. This one's really old, really should throw it away, but I don't have any other mascaras right now. I'm really conflicted on what lip to do and I really don't know. This is cashmere. It's like a cool toned and I have like silver on the lid so I thought that would look really cute. Or I could do like a purple or I could do marshmallow which is like a pinky nude. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go with cashmere and start with the nudes and if I don't like it then I can reapply another color. I think that was the right color. I like this one a lot. Usually I don't like cool tones on me, but I think with the eyes and everything, it looks really pretty. Well, that is the completed Get Ready With Me. I actually really, really love this makeup. Let me know your thoughts down below. Would you have gone with the pinky nude or the cool tone nude-ish color? Make sure to leave some video requests down below. I am running out of ideas for my main channel. I know it's really sad, but I need your guys' help and your feedback and everything down below. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so long time no talk, or at least it feels like that. I know it's been a little while since I posted on my main channel. I mean, it's been like a week, maybe a little over a week, and I'm sorry I missed No Makeup Monday last week. I have had this eye twitch happening for like four days now.